parallel compression is a technique used for adding extra power to a recording, particularly a drum bus. The technique requires splitting the signal from the original track. You can duplicate the track or create a separate bus to do this. One version of the signal is processed normally, maybe with gentle compression if it's needed. The parallel, sig the parallel signal is compressed heavily and the attack and release time set so that they work with the song in question. Let's see how to set this up. Okay, so we're over in Pro Tools now and we have uh, this session, uh, which sounds a bit like this. So pretty standard drum part. Uh, so we don't actually need all of these tracks. We just need the routing folder, the, the, uh, the instrument bus that this is, um, this is a part of. And I'm gonna create a new stereo aux input and we'll call it uh, para parallel. Good. Uh, sometimes I call this New York compression. Um, which is the other name for parallel compression. Uh, good to stick to one if you can though. And I'm gonna go into the IO and I'm gonna create a new bus. Uh, and it's going to be a stereo bus this time because my, uh, my source track here is stereo. And I'm gonna call it uh, parallel as well, exit out of that. And I could go from my sends here um, or I could, uh, once again, uh, add a secondary output. Doesn't make too much difference. I'm gonna go from a send because that's the way that I prefer to work with this. And we're gonna make sure uh, in this case that we're post fader, which we are. We're gonna follow main pan, which is good. And I'm gonna go to Unity here and I'm just gonna back it off from Unity just a little bit, um, just to be on the safe side. And then we are going to check that this routing works, which it won't because I've not put my input. There we go. Great. So we have those tracks coming through on, on, both, uh, on both the drums and the parallel bus. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to load up a plugin. I'm going to use the good old Pro Tools stock plugin for this. And we're going to slam this parallel, parallel track with compression so uh let's go let's go let's go 10 to 1 10 to 1 is is more than high enough in my opinion uh when i'm doing this i like to have a reasonably high attack that lets some of the transients from the uh from the uh drum kit through uh and allows us to compress the rest but i might back it off we'll, we'll see what happens we'll see how it sounds okay so let's have a look at this. Okay, so we're, we're getting there with this. Uh, so I've, I've changed the settings a little bit. I've gone for a lower attack. I might even go for an even lower attack. Let's see what happens.
Okay, so yeah, that's getting there now. So um, it was sounding super extreme just a minute ago, and I'm sure you were thinking that it sounded awful, and it, it kind of did. Um, so the way that I would use this and the way that I would, I would suggest you use this is not to set this exactly the same level as your original drum kit. Your original drum kit is still the main drum kit. This is there to reinforce whatever else is there. So the way to do this is to listen to your original drum kit and then increase the volume level using the fader uh, of the parallel compression so that it sounds right. So I quite like what it did there to the snare drum. It kind of uh, really brought out the snare drum actually. Uh, and it kind of, uh, it sounded a bit kind of like a bit late eighties, early nineties actually. Uh, you'll notice that my compressor just clipped there a little bit. So I'm just reducing the output gain a little bit. Uh, let's go again. So there's generally just a little more weight there. And that's how to set up parallel compression. Hopefully you got something out of that and you can take this and use it in your own mixes. Let me know how you get on. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, feel free to contact me in the usual ways. As always, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe to this channel.